Oh, Jesus. Hello, mortals. It's me, Jesus. Before you watch this video, subscribe to Old Fucking Fucker and Basic in my love. If not, my dad will smite you with an even smaller peepee -pee than you already have. Well, who am I to argue with Jesus? <laughs> he does have some great ideas. All right, let me show you how to build this. You don't really uh, need a particularly flat place, but it does help. Uh, you can pretty well throw this base anywhere. So, as you can see, it's just uh, two lowered square foundations, raised triangles except for one, and then build around it. The door opening inward. We'll just place our TC. Now, from the inside, we're going to be able to place the roofs. It just makes it easier. So we want two full roofs. and then three triangle roofs on each side. There we go. Now, uh, I didn't quite face it north, sorry, but uh, it's close enough. This roof, before we put it in, we want to place solar panels up at the front. Just one will be enough because we're only running a small battery. It's not taking a lot of electricity. There we go. And now we'll just put doors on everything. We want the doors for the double doors opening away from the inside. And these doors really don't matter which way they face. Okay. Now we're going to put the pressure pad in and to put the pressure pad in, we're going to use a bearskin rug. So face the bearskin away from you and put it uh, about two thirds of the way up. 
make it easier to place the pressure pad. We're just going to put a ramp here temporarily. And if you look, you can actually see when it starts to turn blue. And we do, oh, not quite that far up, but we do want it towards, uh, over halfway towards the uh, ramp. Oh, it should be good. So you can see it's on the other half. That gives us room to maneuver in here without setting off the pressure pad. Okay, once that's in. Floor. Then we're gonna put door controllers. So you have to unlock to be able to pair them. And make sure to lock afterwards. Now the only two components we need are the memory switch or sorry the memory cell and the bot. So from the battery, which is connected to the solar panel. We'll run that into the power in on the memory cell from the output of the button. We're going to run that to the reset. From the pressure pad, power out. We're going to run that to the set on the memory cell. Now, on the inverted output, we're going to connect to the front door. And we'll try to run it really close to the ceiling just so it doesn't show up when the uh, people are coming in. There we go. And this one we're going to run over to the pass-through on this one. Now the power in on this door controller is going to the output on the memory cell. So, so now when we press the button, as you can see, it opens the front door and closes those two doors. When we walk forward and hit the pressure pad, it closes the front door and opens those two. And remember to have your doors closed when you're trapping so no one can go deep on you. Now what we'll do is hook up 
our two flame turrets. And we'll put in our bait. Okay, so when we reset in here, anyone that's outside comes along. Oh, actually, I'll take myself off the TC so you can see. Someone from the outside comes along, looks in. Looks like there's boxes ahead. Can't really see anything suspicious. And there you go. So, as you see, the uh, two flame turrets make pretty short work of people. And the great thing about them is, even if you try to hide, in the corners here you can see that you're still within view of them so there's nowhere to hide here it's just going to take them down quickly and it's as easy as coming in pressing the button to reset it and you're all ready to grab the next guy now when you're walking around the base oh sorry when you're walking around the base you want to keep as close to this door as you can. So that you don't uh, accidentally trip it. Okay, well that's the trap. I hope someone finds it useful and uh, please subscribe and comment below. Thanks.